Hello, my name is Melissa Baker. I'm here to talk about being active during pregnancy. And even if you're not pregnant, which odds are you're not, <laughs> then please use this video as a way to just help you connect with yourself and different aspects of being active in your life. So the first thing that I'd like to talk about is connecting to what you need on a daily basis. Sometimes at the beginning of our weeks, we have this idea of what our exercise routine, what our lifestyle is going to look like that week and how we're gonna fit in all these things um, to keep us active. And sometimes when we wake up on a Tuesday or a Wednesday, we don't feel like that. We might feel tired. We might feel um, like we actually need to get up and start moving right away. So depending on where you are in your your week in your trimester if you are pregnant it's important to acknowledge that every week is going to be a little bit different so one thing that's helpful is that during our classes at Gainesville Health and Fitness if you let an instructor know that you are pregnant they will tend to make modifications for you for example in a yoga class if you're doing a position where a leg is in front and you have a knee behind you sometimes it's a little bit hard to reach the ground especially if you're going into third trimester so using blocks or props to help you get the ground a little bit closer to you can help you during those times. The next thing that has helped me create an active lifestyle during pregnancy and may help you as well is connecting with other mothers or mothers-to-be or people that are have kids already and are later in their stages of raising children. So this can be going on walks with mothers. This can be just having a conversation. We have a prenatal yoga workshop that we do every few months here at Gainesville Health and Fitness. And so connecting with other people that are in a specific place that you are in life can help gain perspective and help you realize, okay, this is where I'm at. This is where this person's at. And it's okay. It's all kind of a phase and part of the process. Lastly, I'll touch on connecting to the aspects of the mother that you want to be, the person that you want to be with your children. So for example, if patience isn't your strength, but you embody that or you want to embody that as a mother, then do things that will help you cultivate patience in your active lifestyle. For example, maybe going on nature walks a couple times a week might help you slow down and reconnect and help bring that quality of patience. Again, my name is Melissa Baker. This video is on activity or being active during pregnancy or whatever walk of life you're at. I hope that these tips can help you connect to different aspects of how you can incorporate activity into your life.